Good morning and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. I'm Nancy Ostrich. Today we're going to be uh, doing our 292nd program. I can't believe it's been all these years that we've done this and we've gotten to 292. Well, anyway, it's been fun. The funny thing is, Gordy, we never tell each other what we're going to make. I know that, and it's usually, and it has been in all these years, been compatible. Yes. And uh, how we do that, I don't know. We must have <laughs> something in our mind anyway. <laughs> Today we're going to be making a pumpkin soup, an easy skillet, skillet chicken, yeah. Yeah. and I'm going to make an old-timey recipe called uh, tomato soup cake. And we're going to start out with Nancy. Okay, thank you. Um, I have in my soup pot <clears throat> uh, started to uh, saute uh, a small onion chopped. Uh, this is a, um, going to serve about four people, with four servings. If you need um, eight, say, uh, more soup, you just can double the recipe. So um, in a, about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil, I have um, sauteed the onions and I'm ready to add some seasoning. I'm going to put in about a one garlic clove, minced, half teaspoon of allspice, and a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm just eyeing the nutmeg. <clears throat> and if you like to put a little zing in, uh, uh, you can put in a pinch of red pepper. I am not putting in a pinch of... You're not a zinger. No. <laughs> So I am going to let this uh, cook for about another minute or so. Uh, while this is happening, I'm going to turn it over to Gordy and she can make her uh, tomato soup cake. Well, I don't know what made me think of a tomato soup cake today. I have been thinking of my mom at this time of the year because she always loved to bake. And they had my father and mother lived on Highland Farm in Lee and they had a big garden and they had all kinds of vegetables and stuff. So they had all kinds of tomatoes where she could can tomatoes and make tomato soup and then make, and she always made this tomato soup cake. And first of all, I have a can of tomato soup here and I have a teaspoon of baking soda in here. You let it sit for a little while. It might foam a little bit, but that's what it is supposed to do. Okay, in my bowl here, I have a half a cup of butter and a cup of sugar, and I'm going to mix it up. Okay, to the sugar and butter mixture, I'm going to add two eggs. Beat after each egg. Okay, add another egg. Beat that good. Then I'm going to add in my tomato soup and soda mixture. I'm 
The soda makes a tomato soup a little puffy. It might foam a little bit. It all depends. Okay, that looks like it's in there. So now I am going to put in my uh, spices and my flour. I have two cups of flour, uh, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, uh, half, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, uh, half a nutmeg, and a quarter of a cup of um, allspice. And I'm going to turn this into my batter. Sounds like we're using the same spices. Just okay. about. This fall spices. Fall spices. So I'm going to mix this all up. When you're mixing this all together, don't mix it too much because it might make it a little tough. So all you have to do is just mix it enough to get all the flour and all the spices and the tomato soup and everything in the, the recipe. And I'll give it one quick spin around okay now I'm going to put it in a prepared baked dish you can make this um, oh, oh, vanilla uh, do I see vanilla there what's that did you put your the vanilla in did I put my vanilla in I don't think so no I didn't did I I'll put a little drop in now <laughs> there we go I'll mix it up. <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay. Not good. It's a pretty color. Yep. I will flatten this out and I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes and I'm going to turn this over to Nancy. Okay, thank you. I'm ready to, uh, for the soup, I'm ready to stir in one 15 ounce can of pumpkin and you want it to be just pumpkin. Don't need any more uh, spices. You can you buy just a puree, puree pumpkin. And it will be a 15 ounce can. And two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Excuse me, Nancy, I'll put this in. Yep. Okay. Thank you.
and a couple some bay leaf. Let that simmer for about uh, 15 minutes. Okay. I'll turn it over here because I've got to uh, set up for the other recipe. We will break um, so I can set up for uh, the chicken uh, recipe. All right, um, I've got a couple of things going here, so hopefully I can keep things straight. Uh, the pumpkin soup has simmered for about 15 minutes, and I'm going to um, finish that off. I want to add one half cup of whole milk or half and half and um, I have elected to use half and half whoops I'm sorry I got, my husband's gonna get mad at me <laughs> I, I gotta stay in one position here um, My pan, the soup is on the side. I want to add the half a cup of half and half. And also a half a tablespoon or so of honey. And I neglected to do this, but if you want to have easy out of a measuring or a spoon with the sticky like honey, Spray it first with um, cooking spray, shortening. <coughs> and some salt and pepper to taste. going to remove the um, bay leaves and of course you can taste it and see if you need some more honey or more salt pepper <laughs> but just let that uh, heat up a little bit more now over here in my big fry pan I already um, have been browning some chicken fillets. Well, um, dredged in flour, salt and pepper. Uh, this is going to serve four. So you can um, actually, I had some chicken breasts. It's going to be about. Um, two pounds or four fillets, good size, um, and I pounded them to get them thinner. And um, I put them on a, 
a plate here because now I'm going to make a, a sauce with uh, two teaspoons of um, minced garlic. Pull my garlic again. Three tablespoons of um, vinegar. Now, how many kinds of vinegar do we have? We have cider, we have white, we have uh, wine vinegar, we have balsamic vinegar. Um, I have on hand some rice vinegar. So I am going to um, use my rice vinegar. And I want three tablespoons. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. You probably, you know, you get low sodium or you can get, of course, regular soy sauce has quite a bit of sodium in it. And to finish it off, I want two-thirds of a cup of honey. And this time I am going to get my find my third of a cup. and almost don't have enough. I didn't almost bring enough over, but all that I have here, up to two thirds. And we're going to let that simmer for a little while. I'm going to put the chicken back in again. And let it simmer in the, the sauce. So I will, um, we will break now. And Gordy, I believe you're going to will be making your frosting, am I right? Ah, yes, but I have to wait a while. Yeah, so we will break now and uh, wait for Gordy to come back to make her frosting. Now, my cake is almost um, uh, cooled off so I can make my frosting. So in my bowl, I have three and a half cups of confectionery sugar. I have a half, of, um, a half a cup of butter, and I have eight ounces of cream cheese and a half a teaspoon of van uh, vanilla, and I'm going to mix this up, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 
when I make frosting here or home, I have confectionery sugar all over the place. So this one, well, this is the first that I haven't gotten it all over yet. Knock on wood. Oh, shoot. Make sure you get a lot of the lumps out. Make sure it's a little smooth. Okay, let me see what this looks like. Okay. This is what the frosting looks like and I'm going to put it on my cake Make sure you get a good amount here. Okay, now I'm going to spread it. That should be enough. <clears throat> This is what it looks like after it's all done. Too bad I didn't have any little red tomatoes or, <laughs> <clears throat> or cinnamon. Or cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon sprinkles or what do you call them? Cinnamon sprinkles. Okay. Mm. okay, and that's what the tomato soup cake looks like. And we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we will be at our table. Welcome back to our table. We did quite a bit this morning, three different uh, recipes, and it all looks like um, kind of brown, orange, and white, and cream, and <laughs> fall colors. Fall colors. <coughs> <laughs> and then have our uh, sunflowers that uh, put a little orange into it. So uh, we're going to start out with our pumpkin soup, um, which was pretty easy to put together um, with uh, some onion in it and uh, seasoning it up with a, a garlic clove and allspice and nutmeg. And then you add, after you saute that, uh, the onion down, and you add a 15 ounce can of uh, just pumpkin, not pumpkin that's been uh, in the spiced can. Up. Spiced up, <laughs> yeah. And some chicken broth, um, and then you simmer that for a little while. And then at the end, um, you add a half a cup of whole milk or half and half and some honey. 
and uh, salt and pepper. Now, I did not do this, but if you don't want to uh, have some bits of onion, you can put this in a blender and blend it up. Otherwise, there's no need to do that um, because it's pretty smooth other than having some onion bits. Uh, to go along, um, the main course is uh, an easy chicken skillet um, recipe that I got from a friend of mine. And uh, I didn't do it ahead of time, so hopefully uh, I've tasted the sauce that goes with it, and it's uh, tasty. Uh, I want either chicken fillet pieces or pound some uh, chicken breast. Uh, and I dredge them in flour and salt and pepper and uh, cook them on uh, two sides in some butter. Um, and I did take uh, the chicken out and, and plated it because I wanted to um, make a sauce um, in the skillet. And that was some minced onion, uh, minced garlic again, uh, three tablespoons of, I use rice vinegar. I just said vinegar, and you know how many, maybe you use a balsamic, um, you have cider vinegar, you have white vinegar, you have so many different kinds of vinegar. I had some rice vinegar on hand, so that's what I used. And um, some soy sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and honey again. And I uh, put that all in the uh, fry pan and cooked it down a little, then put the chicken back in and uh, to coat it with the sauce. And I plated it with some um, rice around the edges. Um, you can use, this is white rice, and of course some people want to use brown rice because of the, the fiber and whatever. Use your, your uh, choice of rice <coughs> to complement it. And then we went on to the dessert. And Gordy, you've got that. Uh, today I made an old time recipe. I'm sure a lot of people out there have had it before, but I haven't made it in many, many, many years. So today I decided to make a tomato soup cake. And in my cake I have, um, I mixed a can of tomato soup with a teaspoon of uh, baking soda and it fizzed up a little bit. So don't worry about that if that happens. And then you combine <coughs> Um, two cups of flour, a quarter of a cup of allspice, half a cup of nutmeg, a half a cup of tea, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of um, allspice, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a, te uh, a teaspoon of vanilla, and two eggs. And I mixed it all up and made a cake batter out of it. And it's supposed to be put into. Um, uh, it's supposed to be a layer cake, but I decided I would put it in my pan. makes it a little bit more. And that's for the cake. And then I bake that at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. And then when it cooled down, I made a frosting of um, cream cheese, 12 and a half ounces of cream cheese. I had half a uh, cup of butter, three and a half cups of um, confectionery sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I mixed it all up and frosted my tomato soup cake. And this is what it looks like, and it doesn't look too bad. Nope. For um, an old time cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, if you would like any of these recipes, please send a self addressed stamped envelope to Daunton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Daunton, Mass., 01226. And that is all from our kitchen today. Have a great day.